Welcome to BNN, the Brian News Network. All Brian, all the time. And now, your news anchor for this evening, Brian Goldstein. On today's episode of BNN, a flying man exists. This human can fly through the air farther, higher, and longer than everyone on Earth. This superhuman is none other than his Royal Airness Michael Jordan. His nickname, Air Jordan, and his Royal Airness comes from his skill of high jumping and dunking. And it's from the name after the shoe Nike made for him to promote. But something that people don't know is that the first professional nickname was Captain Marble. Good thing this did not stick because he would look silly in Brie Larson's costume. He was born on February 17, 1963 in Brooklyn, New York. Later, his family moved to Wellington, North Carolina. While living in Wellington, Michael enjoyed playing several sports as a boy. His father taught him to work hard and not to be tempted by street life. Jordan loved sports but failed to make it on his high school basketball team as a sophomore. He attended college and played for the University of North Carolina. There he won a national championship. His performance in school prompted the Chicago Bulls to draft him third overall in 1984. With the Chicago Bulls, he went on to win six NBA championships. In 1989, Jordan married Juanita Vinoy. The couple had three children, Jeffrey, Marcus, and Jasmine. After 17 years of marriage, they got divorced in December 2006. An interesting fact about Michael Jordan is that he played in the NBA for 15 seasons, winning six championships with the Chicago Bulls. At the time of his retirement in 2003, Jordan ranked third in career scoring with a total of 32,292 points. Jordan's scoring average of 30.12 points per game was the highest in the league history. Now in retirement, he's part of owner of the Charlotte Hornets as a cologne named after him and a wonderful fashion line of clothes. I'm actually wearing a tie from the Michael Jordan collection. Let's look at highlights. Wow, look at that. Look how high he gets. No one slams it like Mike. I mean, look at that. Who can do that? I mean, he's being tackled by aliens. And he stretches his arm, and he still scores. This guy's unbelievable. Like Jordan said, no fear is an obstacle for some people, but it is an illusion to me. Fear always made me try harder next time. This has been another episode of Vienna. Thank you.